how to send USDT from your Binance account to any other wallet. This works for all cryptos, so we'll go through this process. Firstly, come to your Binance account and press withdraw. It's right here. On the app, just go to wallets and then withdraw. So press withdraw, you come through to the withdraw page. Now there's three bits of information we need to check when sending a crypto asset. Which asset are you sending? Which network are you sending it on? And then which address is it going to? So asset, network, address, those three things. So select the coin that you want to send. We're gonna send USDT. Come and just search for it. If you have a balance here, USDT, we're gonna send that. Now we need to get the address and select the network that we wanna send it to. Depending on the wallet that you're sending to and the network that you're using, the address may be different. Solana, Tron, Ethereum, BNB Smart Chain and others have different addresses. So you just have to be sure. So I'll show you how to get the address. If you have an Ethereum style wallet like Metamask or Rabi, just open the wallet up. At the top, you can just copy your wallet address. That's good for all of the Ethereum networks. So just copy your address here and you can paste it in. If you're using a different type of wallet, like Trust Wallet, just go and find the asset that you wanna send and the network that it's on. So in the top right, I can click this. I can then search for USDT. And you can see USDT exists on many different chains. So you can just click the chain that you wanna send it on toggle it on. So I'll toggle on BNB Smart Chain here. If I go out, this is the asset USDT. I can click that. And this is on the BNB Smart Chain. I can see the logo up at the top. It tells me I can press receive. That's my receiver address for this asset. If you're sending to a different exchange, then go into the exchange. You can press deposit crypto. So I'm depositing USDT here. The chain type, you can select many different ones because the exchange will let you send and receive on many different networks. You can see Solana here, Matic, um, Avalanche, Ton, Tron. So if I click Tron like this, it says, this is your Tron address. I can acknowledge that's my address. So I can copy that and then go and paste it back into Binance. A quick tip here as well, if you are sending USDT or any other crypto assets to another Binance user and you know that they have a Binance account, you don't need to use a blockchain. You can just send it internally to them. So in the withdraw screen, don't press address here, press Binance user, click that. And then you can put in the Binance user's email address, phone number, or Binance ID. If you go into the app, you can very easily get the Binance user's ID. So it's actually in Binance Pay. Up in the top right of the app, click this. And as you can see, it says Binance ID just underneath Pay. That's the Binance ID. So if you know the Binance ID of the user you're sending to, you can just put that in make sure it's correct and you can send assets for free and instantly within Binance. Now I'll show you exactly how to send USDT from your Binance account to another exchange and then to another wallet. Firstly, on exchange, go and search on your exchange for Tether, press deposit, and it's going to ask you which network do you want to receive this on? Now, because an exchange accepts many networks, we have a big choice here. The main thing is when you're sending from Binance, you have to receive on that exact same network. So send and receive on the exact same network. Which network should we choose? Well, actually it doesn't matter because you're just sending the Tether into your Bybit account or the other account that you're using. Once your Tether is there, you can actually withdraw it on any of the other networks as well. That's how exchanges work. They pile up the USDT and then when you want to take it out, they just use balances across all of their different wallets. So go back to Binance. We're going to press the address here select network. You can see that Tron is going to cost us $1. BNB Smart Chain is going to cost 33 cents. Ethereum $5. Matic 20 cents. Arbitrum 17 cents. That seems pretty cheap, right? So uh, let's go to Optimism because it's 13 cents. Because we're sending from Optimism, we must receive on the other end on Optimism. So if we go back to Bybit, we're going to check if they can accept USDT on Optimism or the OP mainnet and they can right here. So I'm gonna click this, and then it's gonna give me my receive address. So this is a receive address for USDT on Optimism. We can also check as well that we are sending and receiving the exact same coin so that we don't lose anything. You can see contract address right here ends with E58. So we're gonna copy this address. We're gonna go back to Binance, and we're gonna make sure that the contract is the same. You can see that here, contract address ending in E58. This is the same token on the same network. I'm gonna paste in the address here, like this. Just choose Optimism again, here. And the withdrawal amount. So that's it. We've got Tether to the address of the other exchange on the same network, and we're gonna withdraw an amount. Press withdraw. Now, if you have email confirmation, 
pass key confirmation, or maybe Google Authenticator. When you press withdraw, it's gonna come up. You'll have to put that in and press withdraw. Once that's done, it will send this asset on that network. And we're paying a very low fee because we're on optimism here, 13 cents. If you're sending USDT to your own wallet, you just have to make sure that it's going to a blockchain that you actually want the USDT on. So an example here, I have a Ton wallet. I'm gonna copy my address right here like this. And then I'm gonna go and paste that into my Binance account to withdraw. So I'm sending USDT. I'm going to enter the address by pasting it in. And what it says is that this address format has auto matched to this blockchain network, which is the Ton network. So I can only send on the Ton network. That's fine as long as I want the tether on that network. So what I do is paste in the address, make sure that it's going to the network that I want, and then I can just send that out into my address. Now, importantly here is that if you are sending USDT to your own wallet, once it comes into your wallet, if you want to send it back out again, you'll have to pay a blockchain fee known as gas. So what you will usually have to do is pay the gas in the layer one coin of that network. So for Ton, it's Ton coin. For Tron, it's TRX. For Solana, it's Sol and so on. So you're going to have to have some small amount of gas in your wallet if you want to send the USDT back out again. So not just sending USDT, you'll also have to send a layer one coin of the blockchain that you're using and be sure that you actually want the USDT on this network. Deposit bonuses to the exchanges I use will be linked below alongside some other helpful videos. I'm James, it's MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.